Welcome, Aries. Welcome, welcome, guys. I'm back again with another video for y'all. All right, so this is going to be for the month of September. All right, so these are general reads. So whatever pops out is going to pop out. That's the message that Spirit, um, you know, has for you. Um, if it doesn't resonate, guys, check your moon and your rising. All right, and if you are new to the channel, go ahead and click that bell to subscribe because you don't want to miss out for future videos. So Aries, let's see what we got coming. Like the last few readings that I've been doing have been on a roll, guys. A lot of um, blessings and abundance and prosperity. And I have been seeing the numbers 777 and 888 a lot. So those are numbers of luck, abundance, prosperity, like lots of good energy. So I want to keep that flowing. I want to keep that type of energy flowing, guys. So I'm hoping that you guys have a good read as well. Um, let's talk. Let's see what we got. Aries. What messages are there for Aries? What message do you have for my Aries? What message do you have for Aries? Okay. I'm going to shuffle a few more times. And then I want to go ahead in and do the read. All right, so let's see. All right, so Aries. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, guys. So if you have Aries anywhere in those placements, you can utilize this video. All right, so let's see what we got for my Aries, Aries, Aries. We got the King of Pentacles. <laughs> King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. You guys could be very, very career focused, very, very, very much so business oriented. Focus on your pentacle, okay? Focus on stability um, and investing. I see, yes, see? Some, a lot of you guys are investing. See, this is the energy that I'm liking, okay? The seven of pentacles, three of pentacles. Some of y'all are investing in Bitcoin. I heard that. I just heard Bitcoin. A lot of y'all are investing in businesses, okay? Business, 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 career, money, goals, okay? Goals, goals. I feel like y'all are kind of waiting to tell... Um, to share your idea with the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords. There could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And, and then we got the Eight of Wands. So there is something that you want to say or you want to speak on, but you're waiting, okay? You're waiting to do it. You're like being patient. Aries, thank you. Okay, yeah, we got the Nine of Wands. You're being very cautious. And we got the Six of Cups, okay? So this talks about the past. I feel like you want to congratulate, or you're talking, you're, it's something about how you feel. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Page of Cups, Pisces energy. And now Pentacles, which is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. But someone here could be saying that, someone here is in, you know, is, is speaking very, um, being very nice and cordial here. Um, it's like somebody saying in a nice way, like, you know, hey, I'm focused on me. And I, I'm saying, like, I'm hearing, like, saying it in a nice way. Some of y'all are moving on. Some of y'all are at a distance from somebody or you're moving on. And then we got the star card. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But um, I'm getting that, yeah, like, somebody's hoping that somebody would have stuck around. Okay, four of pentacles and the hermit. You could be dealing with the Virgo. But I feel like some of y'all are feeling like somebody, either you guys are telling somebody in a nice way um, that you're focused on yourself, that somebody wants to be single. And somebody is definitely like want to be single and then they're leaving and they're moving on. They're at a distance. Um, maybe you're hoping that this person comes back around. But right now, for the meantime, you are focused on your pentacle, okay? Like, you got your guard up because of how this happened. So, this is something that I feel like has already happened. The Hierophant. This could be a Taurus or this is someone 
that you're married to or you're setting boundaries. I can definitely see like setting boundaries, especially with the nine of wands and the hierophant here. The hierophant is definitely by the book. Okay. He does everything by the book, by the script. This is the rules. Nine of wands is saying, Hey, those guards are up. You did me how you did me in the past or this happened the way in the past. So now I'm focused on me. I'm focused on my money. I'm focused on my goals. I'm focused on my career, what I want to do. Okay. I definitely see that. Has energy. We got the queen of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You guys got cups energy. A lot of cups here um, has been revealing itself. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I feel like you're getting, you're, we got the four of cups and the, and the four of swords. Four is here. So four could be significant. But I feel like you feel like maybe this person isn't putting in any energy. Like you don't have the energy for this situation anymore. Um, or you're tired of this person um, playing a victim. I can see that as well too. You feel like this person could be, be, could be lying, could be sneaking, could be cheating. Especially here with the four of swords and the, and the seven of swords. Like, this is a thought. Like, you think this person is playing a victim. Um, and you're tired of that ass. Okay? Like, you want more. You want this person to show you more. Nine of Cups and the Chariot could be dealing with the uh, cancer. But you want some progression. You want more from this person. Um, you want to, you, you're, I feel like you want the truth. Okay. This is a thought. I feel like you think that this person is playing a victim. Okay. King of swords and the ace of swords. Like you're willing to cut this person off if you don't get the truth. Okay. If this person is in, if you don't feel like this person is telling the truth, you're willing to cut this person off. Okay. Future energy. Ooh. Yeah. See the four of pentacles and the hierophant just fell out. Four of pentacles. Okay, four of pentacles and the hermit. That came back out. It was just there earlier. Yeah, see the star and the six of swords. Um, and the seven of cups and the death card. I feel like, yeah, see, somebody feels like they're better off free. Okay, because I got the knight of wands and the sun. This is definitely somebody that plays around a lot. Like, you can't really take this person too serious because this person is a player. Like, he's young, young-like. Um, you know, the sun card is the fun card. Knight of wands is someone who's like, you know, isn't ready to commit. Doesn't want to commit at this time. But with the star card here, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. But this is having hope that you made the right decision to move on okay so some of y'all are deciding like you want to move on you got the seven of cups here which is a decision that needs to be made and the six of swords is acting and on that decision the death card is the ending okay this is the ending so with the four four pentacles and a hermit card here i feel like you feel like this person um i feel like you may feel like this person to come back around come back around to you but you're kind of like trying to keep your distance from this person why is the King of Pentacles here? Hangman. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, you think that this person is having... You think that there's a third person here. With the King of Wands and the Ace of Wands, this could be you. This could, this could be you, okay? This could be you. Because you're a fire sign. But this is definitely sexual energy here. But I feel like you're waiting to find out if this person is sleeping around. Trying to find out if this person is sleeping around. And you're extremely guarded. You feel like this person possibly did this to you before. Why is the Six of Cups here? Why is the Six of Cups here? Six of Cups. Oh, yeah, this this situation got you bugging the nine of swords and the moon like this is like anxiety. You can't sleep at night because this is constantly on your mind. And this possibly this person probably possibly did this to you in the past. They did this to you before. So this is why you're so guarded. Yeah, and they broke your heart. Look at this. Three of swords. They broke your heart before. And this could also symbolize a third party. Okay. 
and the chariot card. It could be a cancer involved. But it's like you got over it. You got over it the last time. But this time, you're like, uh-uh. We're not finna let this. I'm not finna let this go like this. This, this, I'm not finna. It's not gonna go like that this time. Why is the nine of wands here? Yeah, seven of swords. Seven of swords. And then the ace of swords here at the bottom of the deck. So you feel like this person is lying. You want proof. You need proof. You need the truth. Your intuition is telling you. Your intuition is telling you that this person is lying. And you also feel like this person, you feel like this person has turned up. Like you, we got, and I'm not laughing at you guys. It's just the way the cards are falling. It's just like, wow. We got the five of swords, the queen of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, right? But with the five of swords and the ace of pentacles, I'm getting kind of like a gold digger energy. You might feel like this person uh, does things, is doing this for money. With the five of swords, um, you may feel like there's this person is possibly like doing this out of spite as well, too. Why is the hierophant here? The knight of swords. Yeah. Knight of swords. This this is you're you're pissed and you feel betrayed. Some of y'all, this is a divorce with the hierophant and the ten of swords. If this if you're married to this person, you're even contemplating divorce. I'm getting like, hurry up and get this divorce because I feel like you're lying. Like, that's the type of conversation that I'm hearing. Like, I'm literally hearing it. And then we got the empress. Like I said, for some of you, this is like a, a marriage, okay? You feel overwhelmed by this situation because I got the ten of wands and the emperor. You're the emperor. You really love this person and you just feel betrayed or backstabbed by this person. Like you feel like they broke your trust. Um, you can't trust them, especially with that Ten of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Like you just feel like you can't trust this person. This person betrayed you before and it's like, you know, you're I gave you a chance. I got over it the last time, but this time it's a no. Why's the Queen of Cups here? Judgment. Yeah, like I said, you feel like this person always is acting innocent, like they act innocent, but you feel like they're really not. And somebody told you, or you, you, you came, you rushed in and saw something, or somebody came to you, some type of news came in, like there's been some communication. Maybe you saw something on the phone. Maybe you, I, I'm getting like I'm getting like you could have went through somebody's phone went through somebody messages and saw that somebody was messaging somebody okay there's a, here's the conversation right here the knight of wands and the eight of wands you seen the messages or you heard or saw something okay and somebody could have been possibly asking somebody for money or saying you know like queen of wands and the five of pentacles this is saying like you know you're kind of like in a bad place possibly financially or you feel lonely or alone like somebody is saying like they're alone or they're lonely um 111 is on the screen here right now okay 111 so i mean you feel like this person always playing the victim that's how you feel so future energy i feel like you're going to be keeping your distance from this person you're going to be keeping your distance why is the hermit card here the strength card okay could be a leo but to show yeah look at this you are keep your distance to show them that you have the courage to walk away eight of cups eight of cups and i got the yeah the star card here aquarius's energy but you're you have faith you're having faith in yourself and you're having the courage you prayed on this to have the courage to leave this situation because it's not serving you anymore. Okay? You're looking at a bride or something better. You feel like there's something better for you. Okay? You may have been giving, very giving to this person. Okay? But it just seemed like this person, like whatever you're giving and having to offer, you feel like this person is just making you feel like it's not enough. Okay? Hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. Let's see what messages we have. I'm gonna pull from the Kipper deck and see um, what messages we have. Let's 
What message is there for my Aries? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we got main female at the bottom of the deck, okay? And we have despair, which is also like the five of pentacles, all right? And privileged lady. And we have great fortune. That's been coming out for a lot of the readings. Okay, so there's possibly this uh, female that's in the picture, okay? This person could possibly be, you know, very privileged. You view this person as being privileged or vice versa. Let's see. Let me get a few clarifiers. Why is this spare here? Somebody feels abandoned and left out in the cold or lonely. I see that in the sun card here. Okay, so this could be you coming out of a bad situation. The, the spare card and the sun card is saying that there's light at the end of the tunnel. Okay? And I feel like some good news. Um, this is you guys' energy. I feel like uh, some good news is getting ready to come in. But your intuition is telling you that this person going to come back. This person may have financial issues and they look to you for financial support. Um, they could be calling you. Your intuition is telling you that they're going to call you um, and try to come back, okay? But I feel like you, you're you going to already be made up your mind. Four of Swords and the Seven of Cups. You thought about this and thought about this and thought about this. You looked at all your options. You looked at everything and you decide that, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Five, the Knight of Pentacles is some is a small offer, okay? It's a really small offer, like, where they aren't really giving too much. Um, and the offer also takes a long time to get to you. So somebody's going to be, and I feel like, and I also see here, too, somebody's going to be asking for money. With the Page of Wands, they're going to be mad because they're going to be asking for money. Page of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody here is real greedy. Somebody here is real, real greedy here. I'm seeing it. But it, like I said, I feel like I feel like you could be financially supporting this person. Um, and this person um, possibly is going to reach out to you and ask you for some assistance. Okay. You also feel like this. You, you felt like um, this person was, you know, a good match for you. Two of Cups is a soulmate card. Could be a Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You tried to get this person what they wanted. You tried to fulfill every desire, every want with the Nine of Cups here. Um, you tried to work on this, okay? You you really did try to work on this. But this person makes you, brings out the King of Swords energy in you. Um, Like I said, some of y'all are married to this person with the Four of Wands here and the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords is here. So maybe you guys, like, the way you communicate to each other is very extremely, um, you may need to work on in the communication department with this person. Because I, I, you guys, both of you guys are coming up as King of Swords and Queen of Swords. So definitely, even though the energies are matched, they definitely are, you know, very outspoken, very blunt in communication, okay? So let's see why a privileged lady is here. Hierophant, Taurus, the Lovers, and the Two of Swords. I feel like you don't feel like this person deserves this from you, okay? I'm, I'm seeing Pisces' this energy, the Queen of Cups and the Moon card. This is definitely Pisces or Cancer's energy. Um, but the something that some you've been waiting anxiously, um... You've been waiting anxiously. You waited anxiously for this person um, to show, to reciprocate the love. Um, but it looks like this person here is here to steal assets, okay? King of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Seven of Swords. Is somebody coming in to, to take, okay? And it looks like want to take, want to take some of what the King of Pentacles, someone want to take some of those uh, Pentacles. Okay, so look, I don't, I feel like you're already hip to this with the nine of wands. Your guards are already up, cause you know that this person ain't really got it like that. Five of Pentacles, and like I said, you've been giving this person money. Queen of Pentacles, you've been already giving this person money. 
and they don't appreciate it. That's how I feel. I feel like you put this person in a really good uh, position with a privileged lady, but you don't feel you don't feel like you've been reciprocated. Like they have reciprocated the energy back or shown you any type of you know gesture that show that they're appreciative. Okay, then we got great fortune. Why is great fortune here? Ace of Pentacles, like I said. Like I said. Okay. Y'all got the bag. And if this if it's vice versa, then just flip it. Somebody got a bag. Somebody doing what they got to do. Cause the money is there. But then y'all got this person. I feel like it's y'all with the bag and this person is unappreciative. Okay. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Y'all got y'all are privileged. Y'all are the privileged ones. Okay, see, yeah. Seven of Pentacles. Some of y'all are getting ready to invest, okay? But let me tell you, uh, somebody's gonna be asking for that, asking for a portion, asking for half, asking for they're gonna have a handout, okay? They got their handout. Knight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles is somebody asking for money or somebody offering somebody money. Okay, or they're going to be waiting for you to offer them something. Okay, like I said, we're not, and I'm not, I can't make this up. Okay, the Nine of Wands is saying somebody's guard is up. Got to, your guard got to be up because of Seven of Swords. This sneaky person is coming in to get this pentacle with these King of Pentacles here. Okay, I'm just putting it out there. But I feel like y'all already know this anyway. I I feel like y'all already know that about this person. Like, you're not... I don't feel like you are blind to the situation. I feel like there's something that you are very aware of. That this person could be a gold digger or, you know, they, they aren't doing the right thing with the money that you give them. No. All right. So, what messages are there for Aries? Okay. Well, those jump right out. We got a year from now. Oh, one of my cards dropped. We got a year from now. We got remain positive, and we got there's something better. We got there is something better. All right. So, I'm gonna clarify. I do want to see why a year from now is here. Why is a year from now here? Nine of Cups. A wish fulfillment. Why is Nine of Cups here? Yeah, somebody's going to want to... We got the King of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So this could be definitely somebody's husband or wife. But somebody, a year from now, somebody's going to want to come back together. They're going to want to come back together and do things um, like to get you back on that, on that side. Okay? And they're going to be forcing. It's going. To, the energy is going to be forceful. Like, they're actually going to be hurt. <laughs> they're hurt and trying to force their way back in. Okay? Why is the remain positive here? So some of y'all are leaving somebody. Uh, the fool and the empress. Okay? So stay positive, Okay? Uh, some of y'all are going on new ventures. Some of y'all are starting fresh. And I feel like a lot of y'all are focused on um, abundance and your self-care and, um, you know, just putting yourself first. Okay. Some of y'all, that's what spirit wants you to be doing at this time. Okay. So some of y'all are going to be taking like a break from somebody, you know, give, giving some distance or putting some distance between you and this person that you care about you love because i do feel like you care about this person it's just right now this is the cycle that you guys could be in um but i feel like you're going to be putting yourself first okay yeah see like you're closing that chapter on the past the world and the six of cups yeah you're closing the chapter on the past whatever issues or whatever i feel like you're looking at self and you feel like this situation is no longer serving you at this time so you're going to pour all your energy into yourself you're closing this chapter from the past all right, and then we got there's something better. Ooh, the nine of pentacles and the temperance. Ooh, okay. So y'all are going to be finding peace within yourself. Like I said, 
y'all keep coming out like y'all are y'all good anyway like if this person leaves out of your life i don't feel like it's going to mess up your money it's not going to mess up uh your confidence it's not going to mess if anything it's just going to help build it <laughs> if anything temperance is having peace you know being at balance being at you know having that inner peace and you're going to be so happy that you walked away from this situation eight of cups the star card mm -hmm. and i feel like for some of you y'all just feel like this person betrayed y'all with the ten of swords and the knight of swords and it's like and don't come back <laughs> the death card and the ten of swords are saying like you know this is over with okay and the wheel of fortune and the five of cups are saying you missed out you missed out because guess what? I had so much in store with the two of wands. I had so much planned for us. You missed out. You messed up. So that's going to be their loss. <laughs> their loss, somebody else's gain, okay? All right, so I will chat with y'all later. If y'all want to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. Um, and I will chat with y'all later.